Moving on to an exam spot for this test. What's been very, very topical and what's been asked for the last couple of years is donations, tax implications of loans that are given to a trust. So let's just go over the theory for it. So let's imagine there's me and I have a trust. And let's imagine that I give a loan to the trust. Okay. And I give a loan of 10 million rand to the trust. And let's imagine that I give it on 15 December 2019. And I give it on that date itself. So what can happen, guys, is this loan that's given to the trust, if it's given to the trust by a connected person to the trust, so someone that's one of the beneficiaries or has children that are beneficiaries to the trust, if this loan is not, does not have interest at an appropriate rate, there is a deemed donations tax on the amount of the loan that's given. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce a concept of two different types of interest rates. So for this question, let's imagine that the official interest rate is 10%. Okay, but let's say that a market-related interest rate is at 12%. Okay. Now the question is, if we're going to levy donations tax, which one of these two rates should we use? So I need you to explain something. In test four, we're actually going to go through and we're actually going to do trusts in detail. There's a Woolwich principle in test four, which basically deems with how certain income gets attributed through to taxpayers. The Woolwich case application will use a market rate. But for donations tax purposes, it is something that's levied in terms of the tax act. So you will always use the official rate. Okay. Now, let's imagine there's a loan of 10 million to the trust and that loan is at 3%. The question is, will there be any donations tax on this loan? Now, the logic is, if the official rate is at 10% and the interest is only being charged at 3%, the trust is actually benefiting to the tune of 7% from this loan. And the father who's giving the loan into the trust for the benefit of his children is basically moving certain income on to his children. So what happens is there's donations tax. What's going to happen? Donations tax is going to be worked out on whatever interest is not charged on this loan. So you're going to say the loan is 10 million rand times by how much interest is being saved, 10% minus 3%. And guys, the 12% is ignored because for the purposes of this section, which is section 7C in the Tax Act, okay, section 7C, this 12% is ignored, you use the official rate. And then we're going to sit there and say times by, and guys, if it's on the 15th of December, you're going to have to count the number of days in December. So guys, I just need you to understand, I'm going to do this in red. The easiest way to do it is if 31 days in December, this loan is given on the 15th of December, therefore there are 14 days in December that you do not have the loan. 31 minus 14 days is 17. And then guys, in January, how many days will there be? 31 days. And because this is a leap year, remember there's 29 days in February. So 31 plus 17 is... 48. 48 plus 29 gives you 77. Okay, so what are we going to times it by? 77 over 366. And guys, what's going to happen from a number crunch perspective? It's going to be 10 million rand times by 7% because you charge 7% to little times by 77 days divided by 366. And the amount of interest that was not charged to the trust is equal to 147.267 or 268. So that is going to be a deemed donation. When is there a deemed donation? Deemed donation is going to be at your end. So it's on 29 February. 2020, because the deemed date of the donation is going to be that date, which means that you need to pay donations tax okay, at the end of the following month. So when are you going to have to pay the donations tax by? 31st of the 3rd, 
2020. And how much donations tax? Assuming this is the only donation you've got during the year. 147,268. You get 100,000 annual exclusion if you're an individual. That will leave you with 47,268. And the rates of donations tax is 20%. So, on the calculator, 147 minus the 100,000 Rand exemption leaves you with 47,267 times 5.2. There will be a donations tax payable of 945 for in terms of this donation. And it's very, very important to know how to do this. You will see that there's a the new set of tag sheets that I put next to this question tagging everything in section 7c for you guys to do and this will be a big spot for your class test okay thank you